Hey guys, welcome back. Round pearls are usually considered as elegant, classic, and gentle elements with beautiful soft color and smooth curves. I'll add metal element and street lines as a contrast for today's design to make some statement pearl jewelries. I'm going to show how to make a pearl and sterling silver bracelet, ring, and pendant. I'm going to use fire line, 24 gauge wire, scissors, chin nose plier but it's not necessary, side cutter, sterling silver tube beads, 4mm Swarovski white pearls, beading needle, closed jump ring and a clasp with a closed ring, and better to prepare a nylon jaw plier to straighten wire. For today's project, pearls will stay close with the silver tubes without any seed beads, so make sure to choose really good quality glass pearls to avoid the color coating peeling off easily. Let's start the bracelet making. Cut off a piece of fire line, the length equals the bracelet length you like, times 6. Fold the thread on the middle point. Trap the closed jump ring. Hold the two ends together to place a pearl. Then place one pearl on each side of the thread. And trap a silver tube. So we we'll finish the first section. Make sure they look neat together. From now on, just keep repeating. Place one pearl for each side of the thread, then trap a silver tube. Very easy. By repeating that, I've got the right length. To finish it, still place a pearl on each side. Hold two ends together to place a pearl. Take one side of the thread to go through the ring on the clasp. Then make three knots. They are final knots, so make sure they are tight enough. Put the beading needle on one side of the thread. Just to go back through a couple of beads. Trim off the excess thread. Same with the other side of the thread. So we've finished the bracelet. To make a ring, I've cut about 50 cm fire line. Put one silver tube first. Then one pearl for each side of the thread. And trap a silver tube. We've got the first section. Move this section to the middle point of the thread. Then again, just to keep repeating, place one pearl for each side, then trap a silver tube. By repeating that, I've got the right length. Should be roughly a 4mm pearl gap on the finger. So place a pearl on each side. 
then trap the first tube on the other end. Put the beading needle on one side of the thread. Here go back through three beads to make the two ends of the thread meet each other. So take off the needle and make three knots. Then just like how we finish the bracelet after final knots, put the needle and go back through a couple of beads. Then trim off the excess thread. Same with the other side of the thread. So we've finished the ring. It's quite a statement to wear the bracelet and the ring together. To make a charm pendant, cut about 20 centimeters wire. 24 gauge. Put a silver tube first. Move it to the middle point of the wire and bend the wire to make the tube stop moving away. Place a pearl for each side of the wire and trap a tube bead. Same steps as how we make the ring. But it's hard to trap the tube with 24 gauge wire. Better to use nylon jaw plier to straighten the wire. Then again, just to repeat. One pearl for each side of the wire. Then trap a silver tube. If you like to make it easier, maybe try to use 26 gauge wire. It takes a bit of time for me to finish. when it's long enough for the pendant. Just like how we made the ring, trap the first silver tube. Use either chin nose plier or nylon jaw plier to help grab the wire. Trim off the excess. So we've made a charm pendant. It goes with sterling silver chain. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys like today's design. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.